a system exists to enable wash services. At its simplest, the boundary to the wash system can be defined as all the actors and all the factors, people, organizations, actions and functions that work collectively to produce the most important system behavior, which is part of your vision, part of our vision, the provision of sustainable services that meet agreed national and global standards. The main thing is that the WASH system exists along other sectors. You know, when we talk about WASH, we're talking about uh, the education system, health system, and the, and the system falls within a wider social, cultural, political, and institutional context in each of the countries that you worked, which we would call the political economy. When you are in the system, you understand that uh, there are many issues that affect sustainability and that it's outside the hands of the community that you serve, right? Um, sometimes a government level decision will affect uh, the way a household is provided uh, services for, for water. So system strengthening is a philosophy of action, a way of working that recognizes, first of all, the complexity and fundamentally interlinked nature of the, you know, with the real world. So instead of trying to ignore complexity, uh, for example, by focusing on a specific one-off project, a systems approach engages with it in the belief that doing so will lead to solutions uh, that last and that are more meaningful and sustainable. There's no um, set definition for each of these, each of these building blocks. Uh, I'm gonna give some descriptions of them and you might have things to add, okay? Um, but I just want you to become familiar with these terms, with these different buildings block, because we are going to engage with them uh, significantly later on. Provision exists in a system, doesn't exist in a vacuum. And so realizing that it exists in a system is one step that as I go out, I have to be very open to first map out those systems that affect uh, water or service delivery. Now, when we talk about these components or uh, building blocks, these are very critical to ensure that the people who want to serve, they actually get the water, get it in time, it's reliable and it's affordable. What I have picked up, which I think is very important, especially in the Tanzanian context, within this uh, period of time is where to start or who to work with initially. Yeah, and also the exercise itself, it was kind of uh, an eye-opener that we should be able to do that each and every time we are implementing a project so that we should be able to know which actors are we working with and which actors can we be like, we can develop partnership with so that by the end of the day our projects are sustainable. If I had one piece of advice to give, it would be to never lose sight of uh, the system and uh, not get discouraged at the time it may take to influence it. Uh, system change is slow, so it takes commitment and a lot of communication at all levels. Mm -hmm.